So we're gonna start a fire here and, and cook over the fire. And every fire you wanna start with uh, just your basic tinder. To start with, I'm gonna use uh, some dryer lint here on a piece of bark as a dry platform and uh, have our, our striker here, our flint and steel that we'll try again today. And uh, um, and then we'll, we have some orange peel here that is has been dried out, has volatile oils in it that uh, will help to uh, start. We have a little bit of a challenge here as it's starting to rain a little bit more. Um, and then we have our various kindling. We have some, some shavings here and then dry, small, uh, pencil thin and thinner kind of kindling and pine cones. And then we'll build up from that as, as uh, we start to get our fire bed going. So we started this smoker here on with some dryer lint, wood shavings on a piece of bark with a flint and steel. So we used the flint and steel to spark the dryer lint into life. And now we're gonna build this up so that we can cook on it. So we do a, a kind of a teepee style fire. Just the heat rises up and dries it as it goes and just continues to work up. Um, we may want to actually have, as we get it going, it'll kind of collapse on itself and we'll probably add, add fire below it and build it up. So we have a coal bed over which we'll hang our pot, but we have to get our fire started here and get it, uh, get it rolling along here initially. So we're in a suboptimal environment here with the rain, which is a perfect kind of experiment. We have the, the foundation of our fire going here. We built a, a teepee style fire. This was started with just flint and steel uh, on some dryer lint on a dry piece of, of bark to keep it off the wet area of the fire pit that we're here, we're actually here on a kind of rainy day, starting the, the base of our coal bed to do a, uh, some cooking, some outdoor cooking over the fire with some cast iron cookware and a tripod system. We got our fire coming up underneath our pot here and we added our pot with a baler here onto our chain which we can uh, which we can adjust for the height. Um, what we're attempting to do here is boil some water with our with our cook fire and so we just need to keep it uh, keep it stoked so that we can do that. And this is a Dutch oven so it has legs and feet on it so it could also be set right down in coals um, but we're doing it just uh, above the fire today. Well, we just lowered the kettle down a little bit lower to the fire here and you can see we got some good steam coming off the top here. Got my gloves on here so I'm going to take it just a quick peek here and see. Oh, yep, we got a rolling boil going on there. Look at that. So a rolling boil of our water and uh, looking good. To be aware of new videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the Preparing for the Time of Trouble channel.
For more free videos and downloadable audio podcasts, as well as handouts, go to www.preparingforthetimeoftrouble.com. Topic categories include recordings of live seminar presentations, country living, sustainable gardening, homestead remedies, how to be self-sufficient when the grid goes down, wild edible and medicinal plants, hydrotherapy, and end-time Bible prophecies. To take advantage of these free resources, go to preparingforthetimeoftrouble.com.